Treasure Planet, Jim's Vow. It had been a very odd night for Jim Hawkins and his mother. A mysterious alien named Billy Bones had crashed his ship near their inn, the Benbow. Before he died, Bones had given Jim a strange treasure map. Thought to be the key to finding the riches of the notorious pirate Captain Flint, the loot of a thousand worlds. Jim had just taken the map out of the dying alien's hands, when a gang of murderous alien pirates had arrived at the inn, searching for that very same map. Jim and his mother had barely had enough time to escape with their friend. Doctor Doppler, before the inn had been destroyed. Once they had arrived at Doctor Doppler's house, Jim had somehow convinced his mother to allow him to accompany Doctor Doppler on the search for treasure. It would be the adventure of a lifetime. They would set off in the morning. There was so much to do to prepare for the journey, but for now Jim lay in bed. Safe for the moment at Doctor Doppler's house, and thought about what he would do if he had all the money in the galaxy. Well, for one thing, he said to himself, I'd buy myself a cool new solar surfer, and be the envy of all the other guys. Jim was an accomplished surfer, but he knew his mother wished he worked as hard at his schoolwork. As he did at his surfing, and for another, he went on, I'd buy myself a fleet of private robots and program them to do all my chores without ever talking back to me. His mind was racing now, as he thought of more and more possibilities. And I'd quit school and buy myself the latest model space navigator. And go off exploring the galaxy. Jim sat up in bed. He took the treasure map from under his pillow, and looked at it closely, thinking hard. Then he replaced it carefully. But I don't need any of those things, he said quietly to himself. If I find any treasure at all on this trip, I'm going to give it to Mum. So she can rebuild the inn. He swung his legs over the side of the bed and stood up. He tiptoed to the room where his mother was sleeping. In the dim light, he could see that her face looked pale and lovely. The lines of worry seemed to have smoothed out in her sleep. He bent down and kissed her cool brow. I'm going to make you proud of me, Mum. He whispered to her as she slept. Just you wait and see. He smiled to himself. He was sure of it.